This tutorial will show you how to use the dashboard available from within the new EBSCO user interfaces. The dashboard is where you will find your projects, saved items, recent searches and items you viewed. Let me guide you through a demonstration of this feature. The dashboard is located on the left hand column of the new user interfaces. You can click into the overview to see a summary of your most recently created projects, saved articles and searches, recent searches and articles you have viewed. Click save to view all of your bookmarked articles, ebooks and other records, as well as your saved searches. You can remove bookmarks or access the tools menu. From the Records tab, you can select all items and either export the citations or download the metadata. If you click the title, it will take you to the detailed record of the item. From the Saved Searches tab, you can click the search link to view the results. Click Searches to view your search history. From this screen, click the bookmark icon to the left to add it to your saved searches. The tools menu allows you to view the details of the search, add it to a project or delete the search. Click the viewed section to see a list of items you have previously viewed. Once again, you can individually bookmark the items. You can access the tools menu to generate or export the citation, add the item to a project, share the item, Download the metadata or delete the item from your viewed section. Towards the top left of the screen, you can select all items and either export the citation or download the metadata. If you click the title, it will take you to the detailed record of the item. The dashboard features I have demonstrated can be accessed without needing a My EBSCO personal user account. However, this access is temporary, which means users won't be able to return to those saved items and searches beyond their current session. To store items and searches permanently in their dashboard, users need to be signed into a My EBSCO personal user account. A personal user account has other benefits. If we click into the My EBSCO button on the top right corner of the interface home screen, we can observe that with a My EBSCO account, Users can create projects, download ebooks, save their research for future sessions as mentioned, and synchronize to the EBSCO mobile app. Furthermore, users can set up search and journal alerts. Users can create a personal user account by clicking the My EBSCO button on the top right corner of the interface. Otherwise, they can access this option from the overview screen of the dashboard. Let's click the Create Account button. Users can follow the steps to establish their account using their email address. Alternatively, they can create an account by linking it to an existing Google account. Once the account is established, users can click the sign in link and enter their credentials. After signing into their personalized account, users will see a message front and center that welcomes them back. As I scroll down, you can see that I can return to any projects that I have previously created. If I want to create a new project, I can do so from the overview screen or the project screen. I can click on the new project button. I can provide a name for my project. I have the option to also provide a due date and a description. These are both optional. I can proceed to then click the create button. From there, I can go ahead and add items to my project. To do so, I will run a search. To the right of each search result, there is a tools menu. From the options in this menu, I can click add to project. Then from the pop-up window, I can select the appropriate project. I'll then click add now. As mentioned earlier, another benefit of personalization is that I can create and access alerts. Search alerts can be accessed by clicking the searches section of the dashboard. From this screen, I can move across to the second tab, which is labeled search alerts. Any search alerts that I create will appear here. To set the search alert up, I would run a search. On the top right corner of the results view, there is a search action button, which includes the ability to create a search alert. On the alert screen, I enter the required information before clicking create alert. Returning to the search alert screen on my dashboard, I can click the tools menu to edit the alert, 
view all results, or delete the alert. Users who are personalized can also use the journal alerts function from the dashboard. Any journal alerts that I create will appear here. To set up a journal alert, I will conduct a new search. From this screen, I will go across to the advanced search. I will scroll down to the publications tab. In the search box provided, I'll enter some keywords to locate a publication. I'll then click into that publication that I would like to create an alert for. In the upper right corner, there is a publication tools menu. Within that menu, I can select the create alert link to set up my journal alert. Returning to the journal alert screen on my dashboard, I can click the tools menu to edit the alert or delete the alert. Lastly, we have the holds and checkouts function on the dashboard. From this screen, I will be able to see the details of any EBSCO ebooks that I have checked out for offline reading. I can also see when that ebook expires. Thank you for joining us in this demonstration of the dashboard within the new EBSCO user interfaces. If you have any questions, send the Oceania training team an email to oceaniatraining at ebsco.com.